Hello and welcome to my yin yoga at the wall class for yoga for a deep stretch. So all you need today is a space at the wall. You can use your mat if you like, but you don't need to use your mat. You can just lay on a carpet depending on where you have the space. You may like to use some blocks. So remember you always need to listen to your own body. So come up to the wall. So having one hip touching onto the wall as close as you can and then very slowly make your way around. Keep moving your hips closer to the wall and then take your time and straighten your legs up the wall. So you want your bottom to be as close to the wall as feels comfortable. Your legs may have a slight bend in if this feels more comfortable, if you have tight hamstrings or you may be able to have your legs straight. So listen to what feels comfortable for you today. So we'll start here, just closing the eyes. And take two or three really slow, deep breaths in your own time. So really expand the lungs in all directions. And exhaling really softly. We're going to come into a, a slow yin practice. So we're going to spend longer in each posture today than we have in previous classes. So our first posture will gently bend the knees, bringing the soles of the feet together and open the knees out to the sides. You may have your feet up high. It may be more comfortable to lower them down towards the floor. So this is wall butterfly pose. You can rest your hands on the inside of your knees if that feels more comfortable, or on your abdomen or on the floor. By the side of your body. So we'll pause here, finding a comfortable position. So we should never feel a strain. So again, we'll always start in each posture, taking two or three really slow, deep breaths in your own time. And today, if you can, try and make your exhalation longer and slower than your inhale. So really expand the lungs in all directions. And encourage the muscles and the body to soften with the breath. So focusing on where you feel the stretch. Using the physical body to help distract the mind from thoughts and conversations. Just focusing on your natural breath now. And as we come into the last minute, just observing how you feel. Would you like to stay as you are? Do you feel that the body naturally wants to deepen or are you ready to come out of the posture? So if you're ready to come out, draw the knees into the chest and straighten the legs. Or you can stay here. Or only if it feels comfortable, you can deepen the stretch however feels comfortable for the last minute. So again, focusing on the breath, take three or four slow, deep breaths, really make the exhalation longer and slower than your inhale. So often the longer that your inner posture, the body will naturally soften and relax. As long as you go into each posture gently to start with. and allow the body to relax with time and patience. So keep breathing, take one or two slow breaths in just before we finish. Really expand the lungs, observing how the, the body feels as you're finishing in this posture, have the muscles started to soften 
have they stayed the same? And then when you're ready to come out of the posture, it's very important to come out slowly. So we'll bring the hands behind the back of the knees, very, very gently draw the knees into the chest and then straighten one leg and then the other. Walking out the legs just to relax the legs. Now when you're ready, moving anything out of the way, any blocks, or take a breath in and as you exhale, lower the right leg down into one leg up the wall pose. So you may have your legs bent if the hamstrings are tight. And you may also want to lower, not quite as lower, all the way down to the floor. So you may have your feet open in a closer V. So listen to your own body. And again, the start of this pose will take three slow breaths here. So trying to expand your lungs in all directions. And then take a moment to observe where you feel this stretch. Do you feel a stretch more on the inside of your right leg? Do you feel a stretch anywhere on your left leg? Do you feel a stretch anywhere else? Maybe the abdomen or the sides of the torso. So keep drawing your attention to your physical body, allowing it to distract your mind from thoughts and conversations. So in your practice today, any time that your mind is wandering, be kind to yourself, acknowledge the thoughts, thank yourself for noticing, and then draw your attention either back to the physical body or back to your breath. We're coming into the last minute on this side and just observing if you want to stay in this position, if you'd like to slowly come out of the position or if you feel that your body naturally deepens. So listening to how your body feels today and what feels right for you. And then focus on the breathing again. Try and slow down the breath, making the exhalation longer and slower than your inhale. The last few breaths. Take one or two really slow, deep breaths. And now when you're ready to slowly prepare to come out of this posture, it's very important to bend your knee, draw your knee up to the center. And then we'll lower the other leg down to the other side. So just observe the difference. You may again prefer to have the knee slightly bent. Or you may prefer to not lower the foot all the way down to the floor, but stop wherever feels comfortable. And we'll spend the same amount of time on this side of the body. So as always, start by taking three really slow, deep breaths in your own time. 
filling up the lungs with oxygen and energy, encouraging the body to soften and to relax with each breath. Now focusing on where you feel the stretch on the side of the body. Do you feel a stretch now on the inside of your left leg? Do you feel a stretch somewhere on your right leg? Or maybe somewhere across the abdomen or the torso? So again, preparing to come in to the last minute in this pulse. So observing, would you like to stay in the same position? If you'd like to slowly come out of the position, this is the time. Or you may feel that your body naturally deepens. So listen to what you want to do. So remember, each day is different. And each side of the body is different. So yoga isn't a competition. It's about learning to listen to your own body. As each day is different. Now taking a few slow breaths. Just for the last few breaths in this pose. To expand the lungs in all directions, really encourage the body to relax if you haven't already come out of the position. And then again, as you inhale, now we'll bend the left knee, draw the leg into the center, and then straighten it up. And then we'll walk out the legs, relaxing the legs before we come into our next position. So you can give them a little wobble, just relaxing, pointing the toes and pushing away the heels a few times. So relax the muscles in the legs. Keep breathing, nice slow breaths, doing whatever feels comfortable here before we come into our wall straddle pose. So just pausing, observing how the body feels. So you may like to use some blocks to assist you in this position, depending on how the body feels. So we'll take a deep, slow breath in when you're ready. And as you exhale, opening your legs. So you may just be here with the knees slightly bent. You may have the legs straight, or you may lower to wherever feels comfortable. So you can use blocks at a diagonal as a, a support of the body. So it's more of a softening version. Resting the hands on the abdomen, on the floor, wherever feels comfortable. And then as always, start in this pose by taking three slow, deep breaths. And you're making the exhalation longer and slower than your inhale. And in your mind, tell yourself to relax. Relaxing the breath, relaxing the physical body. Now allowing your breath to follow its natural rhythm. Start to focus on the physical body, observe where you feel this stretch. Do you feel a stretch more in one leg than the other? So not to criticize the body, but to keep drawing your attention into the present moment. Allowing thoughts and worries and conversations to gently pass by. And 
just observe if the longer that you're in a pose, does the body soften and relax? Or does it make you want to come out of the pose? So to come into the last minute, you can decide if you want to slowly come up out of the pose, if you want to stay as you are, or you may naturally deepen. So as always listening to what feels right for your body, not what your ego is telling you to do. We'll take a few really slow deep breaths in for the last few breaths in this pose. And use the breath to encourage the body and the mind to relax. to start to prepare to come out of the pose or very gently inhale bend one leg draw it into the center and then the other and then straighten one leg and the other and walk out the legs relaxing the muscles you can wiggle the legs or do whatever feels comfortable here rotating the ankles in one direction and the other if it feels more comfortable or you can draw the knees into the chest and relax the legs before we come into the next pose so it's just wall eye of the knee so take a breath in as you exhale bend the right leg push away the heel draw the knee towards the wall and then very gently bend your left leg so you there's different stages you can have it slightly bent listening to your own body this also is called figure four pose or eye of the needle and you can rest your hands wherever feels comfortable so you, you should feel a stretch on the outside of your right hip here the most important thing is the foot that's closest to your face which should be your right foot the heel is pushed away this helps protect your knee of your right knee and as always in this pose now, taking three slow breaths in, in your own time. Expanding the lungs in all directions. And mentally tell yourself to relax. now observing what you feel in this pose where do you feel a stretch is it a relaxing stretch is it a deep stretch do you feel you could spend a long time in this pose or are you already ready to come out if you are very slowly straighten the leg very slightly and come into this pose slightly slower it's very important to keep your low part of your back on the ground so don't allow your hips to lift off so the bottom of your back should be touching the ground so again we're preparing to come into the last minute so just observe if you want to stay as you are if you want to slowly Come out of the pose straightening your left leg and uncrossing the leg or if you feel that you naturally want to deepen so really listening to your body try not to compare with the last time you practice this pose just observe how you are today so the last few breaths, really try and deepen the breath. Breathing in and out through the nose. 
encouraging the body to soften and to relax. Last one or two breaths. To come out of this posture, support the right leg. We'll inhale, heel to the foot up to the ceiling, straightening the left leg and then gently uncrossing the right leg. And again, doing whatever feels comfortable to relax the legs. So walking out the legs, you can rotate the ankles, you can wobble the legs, whatever feels comfortable for you just to relax before we do the other side. You can point the toes and push away the heels. And then to come into the other side, we'll have the right leg now, nice and straight, bending the left leg, the back of the ankle just above the knee on the thigh, pushing away the heel and encourage the left knee towards the wall. And then gently bending the right leg until you feel a comfortable position. So checking that your hips haven't lifted off of the mat. And then in your own time, take three slow, deep breaths. Expanding the lungs in all directions. The reason we don't allow the bottom to lift off is because the muscles may be too tight, so you may need to come out of a pose and then deepen when you're ready. Now observing where you feel the stretch here. Can you notice any differences? from this side to the other side. So not to compare, to criticize the body, but to draw your attention to the physical body in the present moment, to let go of thoughts and conversations. So just accepting any differences that you may have. Being aware if your mind is wandering, keep gently bringing it back to the breath. We're coming into the last minute, so just observe if you'd like to stay as you are, if you'd like to slowly come out of the pose, gently straightening the right leg and uncrossing the left leg, or if you feel you naturally deepen. So really listening to your own body today and with any of the poses, if you come out of the pose, just pause before we do the next pose. Taking your time. Last one or two breaths. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. We slow down the breathing. Now to come out of this pose, support the left knee and the foot. Inhale, slowly straighten the right leg and gently uncross the left leg and again, Walk out the knees, relax the legs, relax the ankles, wobbling the legs. So we have two options for the next pose. You can either rest in this position, if it's your moon cycle, or if you have high blood pressure, or if you don't fancy doing an inversion today. Or or you can rest your hands on the abdomen by the side of the body. If you'd like to come into shoulder stand, there's different stages. So we're going to practice it in different stages. So always listen to your own body. So I have making sure that your 
bottom is touching the wall. If it isn't touching the wall, maybe wait until practicing this a few times before practicing the shoulder stand. And then the more flexible you are, the easier it will be. So having the knees bent, the feet at the distance of the hips are going to inhale, lift the hips off of the mat and exhale gently lower. So doing this a few times, lifting up and then gently lower. So using the strength in the thighs, the strength in the abdomen to lift and lower, keeping the chin off of the chest and only looking straight ahead. We can straighten the legs and then you can pause here. So this is the first stage. So if this is enough for you, only doing this today and try and only look at your toes. The next stage is bending the knees again. And then we'll lift a bit higher and we'll bring the hands just onto the hips and support the weight of the body. You may need to adjust your feet height and draw in the elbows. So really try and squeeze the hips and we can pause just for a few breaths, slowing down the breath, inhaling and exhaling. If you'd like to work a bit deeper, work short, straightening one leg, then gently bring it back onto the wall, and then straightening the other leg, and gently bring it back onto the wall. And we'll do this a few times, so just bending and straightening one leg, just to observe how this affects your balance, Keep breathing and then the lowering down and then changing and then lowering down. So you can either continue to practice this if you'd like to straighten both legs. Now we'll straighten when you're ready. One leg up first and then the other. Very important, squeeze the thighs together and push the heels up towards the ceiling. Nice, slow breathing. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose, just for one or two more breaths. Nice, slow breaths. And to come out of this pose, we'll take a really deep breath in. And then when you're ready, nice and gently, we'll bend one knee and bring it onto the wall and then the other. You can remove your hands, use the strength of the body very, very slowly nice and controlled, walking the feet down the wall if you need to, and gently lower the hips all the way onto the mat. You can have your knees bent or you can straighten your legs and pause here just for a few breaths, just observing how this has affected the body. Do you feel any tingling sensations in the feet and the legs? Is it stimulating the circulation? Or does it feel the same as before? So just pausing, just observing how you're feeling before we come in to our next pose. Take a breath in. As you exhale, bend the knees. We'll heel toe the feet out and to come into a wall squat or happy baby. So the toes are out, the heels are in, and the arms are on the inside of the body. So you can either rest your arms on the abdomen. I prefer to rest them on the inside of the thighs or the inside of the knees as it gives a slightly deeper stretch, but listen to your own body. We'll take a few slow breaths in here. So as always, expanding the abdomen, expanding the sides of the torso and expanding the chest with each breath. Really deepen the breath. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. So you can experiment with different positions where your arms will feel more comfortable. And then start to draw your attention on your physical body. Observe where you feel the stretch here. Do you feel it on the inside of the hips or the legs? The outside of the hips? or the legs or anywhere else. Just allow the breath to follow its natural rhythm and just pause in this pose just for one more minute. If it's starting to get too much and you'd like to come out of the pose, you can very gently draw the knees into the chest and then straighten one leg and then the other. Or you can just pause here for the last minute.
So the last few breaths. So really try and slow down the breathing. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Encourage the whole of the body to soften and to relax with the breath. Now to prepare to slowly come out of this pose very gently, supporting the outside of the knees, draw the legs heel to the feet into the center, draw the legs into the chest and straighten one leg and then the other. And as always, bending and straightening the legs between each pose before we come into our reclined spine or twist against the wall. So taking a breath in on your exhale, bend the knees, then lower the knees over towards the left to wherever feels comfortable. But most important, that the right shoulder stays on the ground. So we'll straighten the right arm and look towards the right fingers. So you can support your left arm either in line with the shoulders on the left or you can support it just on the outside of the knee. So you're going to spend slightly longer in this pose. So taking a few slow breaths in your own time. Deepening the breath. Expanding in all directions. And observing where you feel this stretch. If it's across the abdomen, maybe the sides of the torso, you may find a stretch on the hip, the outside of the thigh, or maybe even across the shoulder and the chest. Just the last couple of breaths in this pose. Nice slow breathing, inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Now to slowly prepare to come out, we'll take a deep breath in, bring your head into the center, very gently. Bring your knees into the center and then gently lower them all the way over to the other side. So remember you can use a block under your knees if it feels more comfortable, straightening the left arm and looking towards the left hand. You can have the right hand in line with the shoulders or just on the outside of the thigh, whatever feels comfortable. So taking three slow deep breaths to start with in the side. Inhaling and exhaling. Now observing any differences from this side to the other. Observing first where you feel the stretch. Is it different from one side of the other or is it the same? The most important thing in the climb spinal twist is that the shoulders stay on the ground even though we're moving the hips. So the last few breaths in this pose on this side. So really inhale, expand the lungs in all directions. And exhale very slowly. Again, inhaling, expanding the lungs in all directions. And exhale gently. One last time, inhale, expanding the lungs in all directions. And then exhale very softly. It's observing how you feel now compared to at the start of the pose. 
Are there any differences? Or has the body stayed the same? Now to prepare to come out of the pulse, as you inhale, bring your head into the center, very slowly, supporting your legs, bring your legs into the center. Forward, straighten the legs just for a moment, give them a little wobble, or walk out the knees, and then we'll bend the knees, bring them all the way onto the right hand side, and just pause here for a moment. So we have had the feet above the head for a for quite a while, so come out of this pose very, very slowly. We're going to come to resting on the belly. So just pausing, just allowing the blood flow to come down back into the head. And then very gently take your time. You want the knees pressed up against the wall and very gently lower down onto the abdomen. Look at the tops of the feet just resting on the back. So we'll inhale when you're ready, we'll come onto the elbows into wall sphinx. So remember you can either lift up out of the pose or you can relax down, whatever feels comfortable in your lower back. Tipping the pelvic bone towards the ground, closing the eyes, drawing your attention inside. So again, we'll take three slow, deep breaths in your own time. Try and soften the muscles in the face and the jaw. And then start to draw your attention to what you feel in this pose. Where you feel a stretch. Do you feel a stretch in the lower back? Is it the same on one side of the body to the other? So at any time, if you need to lower down and come out of this pose, feel free to do so. We're going to stay in just for a few more breaths. So for the last few breaths, you have three options. You can either lower and lay completely flat and just rest there. You can stay as you are if you feel comfortable here. And only if it feels comfortable with your lower back, we'll come into wall seal. So very gently pushing the hands into the mat, gently lifting the elbows off of the mat on your inhale. So try not to have the arms completely straight, but having a very gentle bend. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose, just pausing just for one or two breaths here. And then as you exhale, gently lower back down first onto the elbows and then lower your head down onto the back of the hands. As we're coming towards the end of the practice now, just resting, we'll turn the head to the other direction to have balance. And then when you're ready, very slowly, we'll start to bring your head into the center and then gently come onto your side and make your way up to sitting. So if you have enjoyed this class today, please click on the like button below. Please also remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see future classes. And please also share it with your family and friends. Thank you very much for watching. Please also write me any comments if you've enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you again. Goodbye.